So I did my city Chinese business nice cup. Uh, all members to uh, come to the stage. President Benjamin Chai. <laughs> Secretary Stephen Choi. Can you come over to the stage? Uh, Chen Sun, uh, Chen Guo Lai. Chancellor Bo Wong. Members Chairman Jack O. EPJ Past President Ken Yang. NICEF International Foundation Coordinator Stephen Yang. First Vice President Henry Yang. Second Vice President Sunny Lau. Third Vice President Sunny Choi. Director Janet Wong, Director Henry Au, Director Michael Wong, Director of Membership Lydia Lee. <laughs> so I would like to invite uh, uh, well, um, our immediate uh, past president to say something well, uh, to everybody. Good evening, um, ladies and gentlemen. Um, welcome. And um, it's uh, know that it's a Friday night, and um, weather isn't so good, but uh, we still managed to see so many of our friends here. And uh, thank you very much for coming and giving us um, the support, as always. And um, before I start, I just wanted to acknowledge um, some of our special guests here tonight. Um, I just want to make sure I uh, got to miss anybody here. And. Um, we have our very bright Labour star, Honourable Miss Jody McKay, the New South Wales Opposition Leader. Thank you very much for coming. And uh, although it is late, we still wanted to congratulate again for your new leadership, and we're looking forward to it. And uh, of course, uh, we have Mr. Ernest Wong, former MLC of New South Wales. Please uh, stand up if you can, thank you. And um, our most respectable um, member of the Chinese community, thank you for coming. And uh, Councillor Kun Huang, our very young and handsome Councillor of our Government Council, thank you for coming. <laughs> More than a year since uh, we established Sydney Chinese Business Alliance Club and it wasn't an easy thing because um, many of us were new to Lions, including myself. But uh, with the great help from our very core cool member, um, Jack Al, we managed to keep our clock in one piece. I still remember at the very first beginning when our um, district governor, Ron, has mentioned that um, this most important thing we needed to do is to keep the membership. And I think we did pretty well in this. We've maintained our membership and also we've maintained our friendship. Because without friendship, um, we won't be here tonight. We won't be able to share and talk about charity. And um, I also want to take this uh, um, opportunity to thank um, our members and also um, Jack Al and all the supporters for making a wonderful event early, th early this year for helping the Exodus Foundation to raise funds. And that was a really great event. And thank you very much for your support. And um, yeah, so um, it's about time for our club to um, by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land and paying my respects to elders past and present and say how pleased I am to be here for this changeover dinner. I want to acknowledge uh, District Governor Jennifer and Ron as former District Governor. I of course uh, see Jennifer and Ron at many Lions Club events and it's really lovely for you to be here tonight to support uh, Ken handing over the presidency to Ben. Um, and I want to thank Ken of course for his leadership of the Lions Club. It's really amazing what you've achieved in a year and you do hand it into very capable hands with Ben. So uh, well done to you Ben. Uh, I I hope that your presidency is one that achieves a great deal and I know that will happen, so well done to you. Um, I also just want to acknowledge my good friend Bill Cruz who's here from the Exodus Foundation uh, and of course we've got, uh, we've got Tony 
community as well from PASS, so two very deserving organisations that I'm so pleased to support. And it's really lovely that both the Exodus Foundation and PASS has a significant relationship with this Lions Club. Because what I know about Lions is that you are all part. Uh, I have had a lot to do with Lions Clubs across Sydney and I know what motivates you and what gives you uh, that uh, sense of uh, fulfilment is giving to others and that's what Lions is all about. So thank you for allowing me to be part of this very, very special uh, night. As you said, I'm only here for a short time. I have another event I wanted to go, I need to go to. But I do want to uh, just be here uh, to, uh, to thank Ken for your leadership and then congratulations Ben and wish you all the very, very best. It's very good to be here. So thank you everyone and thank you to the executives. Well. Excuse me, Judy, uh, could you please stay behind and make a photo with us? Uh, no. photo with us. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Peace. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, District Governor Jennifer, um, it is a pleasure again to be invited to this function here of Sydney Chinese Business Lions. I come from Sydney Chinese Lions, so we, we don't have a word of business there, but nevertheless we're very close, brothers and sisters. And um, it is very interesting and very gratifying to see this club coming of age as they celebrate their second year in competition. Now, um, Lions, as you know, first started in Chicago in 1917. And we are now Lions over 100 years old, to be exact 102 years old. And for this, Lions Club worldwide, we do We Serve. And I'd like to propose a toast to Lions Clubs International. Could I ask you to be upstanding? Charge your glasses. Here's to Lions. Please be seated. John, the original custodian of the land and very respected elders, both past and present. And I would uh, like to acknowledge all the uh, distinguished guests here, in particular, of course, Jody McKay, a good friend of mine, and also leader of New South Wales opposition, and to all the uh, former and also current uh, councillors and to all the uh, uh, dignitaries uh, from the Lions Club. Now, um, I'm pretty sure that you're not here to hear me say or you know, for any speeches, but I'm happy uh, to, hear, to be here to congratulate the outgoing uh, President Ken, who I, I know for many, many years uh, when he was a very young, handsome boy. He's still young, he's still handsome, but he has grown up into a very responsible person, responsible man, um, uh, giving a lot to the community. And that's what he has been doing the last uh, 12 months. And of course, to congratulate um, and also another good friend of mine, uh, who now becomes the, uh, the president of uh, uh, City Chinese Business Lions Club, uh, uh, Benjamin. Uh, congratulations, I'm pretty sure that you're going to take uh, the club to a very new era uh, to make sure that we're able to give enough to the, uh, the community. And also I would like uh, to congratulate all of you where you've been supporting Lions Club for so many years uh, because Lions Club has been an organisation, not only from history but also that we do see a lot of uh, 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 substance where they have been contributing to the community and tonight. Uh, we are here for a very good cause to raise money for uh, Exodus and also uh, for CAS. As a matter of fact, both organisations I'm very familiar with, in particular, of course, uh, Bill. Um, I know Bill for 20 years. I think the very first day I got into uh, into Berwick Council, I was elected into Berwick Council. And since then, every year, I, now, I really would like to commend uh, Bill for all his work so many years to help those young people on the street to make sure that they will be accommodated, they will be, uh, they will be, uh, be, uh, be, 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 be taught, they will be able to help when they need, when they need uh, any kind of assistance. So uh, please come and uh, enjoy yourself. And I have another role tonight to do, to do the auction. And that is the whole purpose of us being here tonight. So please to take it 
and help with the Class Club International objects to create and foster a spirit of understanding among the peoples of the world to promote the principles of good government and good citizenship to fund and otherwise serve the civic, cultural, social and moral welfare of the community to assist financially, culturally, socially and morally the disabled disadvantaged and income of the community both directly and indirectly to unite the club in the bonds of friendship, good fellowship and mutual understanding to provide a forum for the open discussion of all matters of public interest provided, however, that partisan politics and sectarian religion should not be debated by club members to encourage service-minded people to serve their community without personal financial reward and to encourage efficiency and promote high ethic standards in commerce, industry, professions, public works and private endeavors. Thank you. So my presentation, my illustrious application to the end that I may bear a reputation for quality of service. To seek success and to demand fair remuneration or profit as my just due, but to accept no profit or success at the price of my own respect, lost because of unfair advantage taken or because of questionable acts on my part. To remember that in building up my business, it is not necessary to tear down others, to be loyal to my clients, and customers, and true to myself. Whenever a doubt arises as to the right of ethics of my action towards others to resolve such doubt against myself, to hold friendship as an end and not a means, to hold that true friendship exists not on account of the service performed by one to another, but that true friendship demands nothing but a set service in the spirit in which it is given. Always to bear in mind my obligation as a citizen to my nation, my state, and my community, and to give them my unwaved, unswerving loyalty in word, act, and deed, to give them freely of my time, labor, and means, to aid others by giving my sympathy to those in distress, my aid to the weak, and my substance to the need, to be careful with my criticism and liberal with my praise, to build up. I not always be served, but. The other thing that we can actually say to people is what the, you know, when they ask us what the lines do, we can say, you know, we change people's lives. And I know Reverend Bill here, he can actually lay claim to that particular statement too, he changes people's lives. But we change people's lives by supporting people like uh, Reverend Bill. And so it's really important that you, you all understand the importance of the fact that we've got those less fortunate than ourselves, but we, we, we say we, we change people's lives. The other small thing I'd like to say to you all is that it's important that club members must be prepared to do their little bit to support not only their club but to support their board, right? So that your club can um, uh, expand and, and increase and provide an additional service to the community. And uh, so it's really important that everyone is prepared to do their little bit, to make that commitment to, to make our community a better community than what it was before you joined this line. So thank you for listening to me. And I'll hand over now to uh, where are you, Hardy? Thank you, Hardy, for this opportunity. I'll click the check in a minute. Thank you. It is a pleasure to be here tonight to recognise the club of Sydney Chinese business. It has grown and developed over the years and it is a credit to all their members and the friends of Lions who make that difference, the partners, the families. When people join Lions, they become part of our Lions family. And that Lions family where we share a meal together, where we grow together, where we become a family together. And I'd like to thank Ken, the current president, and Ben, the incoming president, for their initiative and growth for this club. It is a pleasure for all of us to gather tonight, and I thank you.
all the help you have given towards the Exodus Foundation. I've got to really thank Jack. Stand up, Jack, please. This man, this man is a real operator, isn't he? He's a real operator, and he's a really valued member of our congregation. And I, I can't thank him enough for all that he does. I think um, one of the things you might know is that 15% to 20% of all the people we work with now are Chinese. And we're meeting with um, CAS this week to start looking for programs for the Chinese people who come to us. Um, they don't seem to be dancing or anything like that. So we're looking at real sorts of programs to, to help all the people across it. Many of them, Chinese people are very lonely and we want to open it out to, to everybody. But I can't thank you enough for all that you've done. I, um, I, many of you might know we have a program in Hong Kong in San Francisco where we work with uh, a lot of really needy children. And um, Jack is part of all of that. Now, we get money, we get money from the Ghana Lions and from uh, uh, Oakley Lions and a few other Lions clubs, you know, but the, we get more money than anybody else. Thank you for continuing just for a few minutes, please. My uh, address is going to be towards those members of this club and how to progress the club now in its second year. You've done a great job in surviving the first year and Ken, thanks for the uh, great effort that you've made in keeping the club together. A club is uh, no, no different to a new business. It is very, very rare that a new business starts and operates efficiently in its first year. It's highly improbable, isn't it, Ken? So it needs to mature and develop. And so too does a line club. It needs to develop and mature. And in order to do that, it needs a lot of assistance. I am prepared to assist your club in any way that I can to progress it to the next year and for many, many years to come. And that assistance needs to come from district offices as well as your neighboring lines clubs as well within the zone. So I'd be delighted to help you mature the club so that together we can achieve great things for the community. Thank you. I've got Benjamin. Yeah. And Janine. Yes. Maggie. Down the end, right. Jack. Lee Chick. Not even the lead we're missing here. Lee, we're missing Lee. Lee, we're missing. We're missing to this club. There's me, Chris, Stephen. Did I miss anybody? Which one? Lee?
most of all the club members and provide your new member with information about the club, its offices and constitution. Arrange for orientation sessions for the new members and we have one coming up I'm very sure where we have a
knowing that you will uh, carry out the obligations of being a lion and the other obligations showing leadership and making all the wise decisions during the coming year so that you can all further uh, serve your community and help those less fortunate than ourselves. Do, do you all undertake to carry out those duties to the best of your ability? And the answer is, I will. Could I hear that a little bit louder? Okay, congratulations on our now uh, uh, our senator, it is very clear as Ken. Ken, as, as, as part of the tradition of lines is that when we pass over from one board to the next board, the outgoing president passes over the gong and the gavel to the incoming president as a mark of his uh, of affection and esteem that his fellow club members have in his ability to uh, lead this club for the following 12 months. So it's your obligation, uh, Benjamin, to give that gong a very loud hit with the, the gavel to indicate that you accept the honour and the privilege of leading this club for the, for the next 12 months. You all right? Way you go, hit it. Well done, Benny. Thank you. Thank you. Are uh, we going to have a photograph now for the, uh, uh, the incoming board? Can we all form two lines here so we can get a photograph of the incoming board? for the uh, incoming board for Sydney Chinese Businessmen Club for 2019-2020. Thank you very much. Uh, I know you have the best wishes of everybody in the room. Congratulations to you all. Thank you, Marty. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, all the board members. Good evening. Good evening, fellow lines and uh, my VIP guests. Uh, to make my speech short, I'm not going to name all the VIP names. Just welcome. Thank you for all to come to my change over uh, ceremony. As we all know, today is very, very windy. But didn't blow away your enthusiasm to be here. Thank you. See, today there are 64 flights and still stop flying. But we are all here. Very proud of you. Okay, and I'm so pleased to be elected as the president of the Sydney Chinese business. And uh, we are here not just for the position, but come here to help people. City Business Club is a young boy, very, very young. Three years ago, when Ken was uh, president, I am just like you, sitting downstairs like this, to celebrate the setup of this club. Today, King, where's King? Yeah, King is sitting there to help me for the new, new job. I think, you know, with all your support, our young club will grow. And we can reach out our hand to help more people. As Sydney's business line, we got a word of business. Of course, we are going to do business. And this is, is a great chance for us to meet each other. And maybe we got a chance to do the business as well. And uh, only you have the chance to do the business, you can have more people with your hard working. And to be made short, I'm not going to make a very, very long speech because after this, 
we have a lot of good program. We have an auction, we have, you know, the vouchers sold, we have a lot of thing, good stuff to be, you know, uh, give out. Okay, once again, I will thank everybody coming and enjoy your night cheer. Thank you very much. Here comes um, my function of the night. $300, oh, thank you so much for everybody. And um, of course, especially our senior alliance, right? Is um, coordinator, right? PCC, our district governor, uh, Jennifer, uh, the party to governor, Dr. Anthony Jha, and um, Ron Edo. And, and all the uh, cabinet member like Peter, um, and all those senior members, right, such as Dr. Uh, Kaja, Eugene, Mr. Uh, Zhu, um, Ben, of course, right, is, uh, every one of you attending here is our VIP. Thank you so much. Without your support, we, we cannot organize this kind of function so smoothly and so uh, successfully. And of course, right, the one who handled the music, David, and uh, CMT, they're, they're a great team, right? And uh, of course, those dancers. Thank you so much, right? With, uh, without the entertainment, right, probably would be very poor. Thank you so much, right? And of course, some already gone, like, uh, Dr. Shirkida, Jody, Reverend Bill Cruz, right, and uh, some VIP already gone, right, and uh, anyway, um, this is our, our president, Benjamin mentioned about, right, such a poor weather, so windy, they still come to a pen, it shows how supportive they are, thank you so much. And um, of course, how do you like the food? You like it? Yeah, thank you again, all right, for uh, Henry Ao, all right, is, uh, is one of our board members, organized the dishes, so delicious, and looks like everybody enjoy it. Thank you so much, Henry Ao. And um, again, I congratulate the incoming president, Benjamin, and uh, just like our outgoing president can mention about, he's very, very generous. He really give really to a lot of charity. And um, if you are in need of money, by all, all means, right? Don't hesitate, just ask them. And probably you get the money and it's okay. Right? And by the same token, he do a lot of things he cannot remember. Right? Actually, I'm talking about charity. Right? Thank you, Ben, for leading our team for the coming year. And thank you so much again. All right? And, um, and um, hopefully, next time, when we do the fundraising, you come to support us again. Thank you so much.